Now we turn to the state of Alabama where the first ever death row execution via nitrogen gas has been performed. It was the state's second execution attempt on 58 year old convicted murderer Kenneth Smith after a failed lethal injection in 2022. NBC's Emily Akeda has the details. Overnight, an unprecedented execution going forward in Alabama. The state performing the country's first ever nitrogen gas execution on convicted killer Kenneth Smith. Officials saying the execution began at 7.53 p.m. local time and Smith was pronounced dead at 8.25. They added the nitrogen flowed for about 15 minutes and that Smith had labored breathing. He struggled against his restraints a little bit, but there's some involuntary movement and some agonal breathing, so... Uh, that was all expected. The corrections commissioner saying he appeared to be holding his breath as long as he could. The 58 year old was convicted for the 1988 murder for hire killing of Elizabeth Senate. He had been in prison for 35 years. Smith was scheduled to die in November 2022, but the attempt at lethal injection didn't work. Before the execution, the Supreme Court rejected another last ditch effort from Smith's legal team to stop it, arguing it could lead to prolonged pain and suffering. Though state officials have testified in court that nitrogen gas is painless and humane. According to media witnesses inside the chamber, Smith, quote, shook and writhed for about two minutes on a gurney, followed by several minutes of deep breaths. Over Smith's over spiritual again. advisor, Reverend Jeff Hood, witnessed the execution. And we also saw correction correction officials in the room who were visibly surprised at how bad this thing went. Victim Elizabeth Senate's family reflecting on the impact of Smith's crime as they look towards closure after years of loss. Kenneth Smith made some bad decisions 35 years ago and his debt was paid tonight.